Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing drug calculation, how we convert milligram per hour to ml per hour. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. Using the formula method, let's discuss the first example. Doctor's order is calcium gluconate. 2000 mg in 100 ml D5 water at 250 mg per hour IV using infusion pump. Calculate the rate of infusion that is ml per hour. The formula here is desired dose multiplied by quantity divided by available dose equal to x. Here desired dose is 250 mg, quantity is 100 and available dose is 2000 mg. So applying all in the formula we get 250 multiplied by 100 divided by 2000 which gives 12.5 ml per hour and hence we set 12.5 ml per hour in the infusion pump. Let's discuss one more example. Doctor's order is calcium gluconate 2 gram in 100 ml D5 water at 250 mg per hour IV using infusion pump. Calculate the rate of infusion that is ml per hour. The formula is Desired dose multiplied by quantity divided by available dose multiplied by 1000 equal to x. The difference between the previous example and this example is we have multiplied the denominator by 1000. Why? Because in previous example both the available dose and desired dose were in milligram and in this case the available dose is in gram which we have to convert it to milligram and hence we multiply the denominator by 1000. Now the desired dose will be 250, quantity will be 100 and available dose is 2 gram that is 2000 milligram. So applying all in the formula we get 250 multiplied by 100 divided by 2 multiplied by 1000 which gives 12.5 ml per hour and hence we set 12.5 ml per hour using the infusion pump. Using the ratio and proportion method, the example is calcium gluconate 2000 mg in 100 ml D5 water at 250 mg per hour IV using infusion pump. Calculate the rate of infusion that is ml per hour. 100 ml contains 2000 mg, x ml contains 250 mg. So 100 is to 2000 mg equal to x is to 250 mg. 100 divided by 2000 equal to x divided by 250. Cross multiplying each side we get 100 multiplied by 250 equal to x multiplied by 2000. So x is equal to 100 multiplied by 250 divided by 2000 which gives 12.5. And hence we set 12.5 ml per hour in the infusion pump. Using dimensional analysis. Let's do the example. Doctor's order is calcium gluconate 2000 mg in 100 ml D5 water at 250 gram per hour IV using infusion pump. Calculate the rate of infusion that is ml per hour. This gives 250 mg multiplied by 100 divided by 2000 mg where the mg gets cancelled. 250 multiplied by 100 divided by 2000 which is equal to 25 divided by 2 which gives 12.5. And hence, we set 12.5 ml per hour in the infusion pump. Few examples for your practice. Doctor's order calcium gluconate 2000 mg in 100 ml D5 water at 500 mg per hour IV using infusion pump. Calculate the rate of infusion that is ml per hour. Next is doctor's order calcium gluconate 2000 mg in 100 ml D5 water at 300 mg per hour IV using infusion pump. Calculate the rate of infusion that is ml per hour. You can calculate it using the formula method, ratio and proportion method, dimensional analysis method and mention the answers on the comment box. So here you go with the drug calculation how we convert mg per hour to ml per hour. If you find this video useful please like it, share it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.